Hi guys, welcome to a new day workout. This is workout 164. Yes. And we have another Tabata workout. So we have five rounds, two exercises per round, and we're going 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, four times through. So your workout will look like this on your timer. So it's eight cycles, five Tabatas, 10 seconds to prepare, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. The preparing is in, in, in between each um, in, in, uh, group. So this is the workout. Here it is, okay. So the asterisk down there for number four, I'm also gonna show low impact. So if you're not able to, instead of doing a frog or burpee, which is down, you can do it low impact here, step up, step up, and back, or jump high impact. Instead of doing that, we're going to do a prima donna push-up. So that's down here, and you're going to be raising up, raising your body up with one arm, tapping your foot behind you. So down, raise up. So you're getting the workout of the push-up and chest work, and then you don't have to jump up and um, do the high impact or stretching um, exercise as much. Okay, so that's the prima donna push-up, so that's for number four. Everything else will pretty much, I'll show you a low impact version as we're going along. Okay, so you're gonna use hand weights today and make sure you have a warm up in. Do your jump rope, your jumping jacks, your butt kicks, your hip rotations, your duck unders, um, but I said butt kicks. Um, just warm up your body, make sure your heart rate's up a little bit and your muscles are warmed up, okay? You'll definitely feel better and you don't wanna pull anything with cold muscles. Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna do my 10 seconds to prepare. Starting session. And our first exercise is elbow cross jacks with side squat to reverse lunge and curl and press. So we'll need our weights. Okay, so the first one is a cardio. So here is your, this is how it is, high impact cross, jumping jack cross. Low impact, you'd be doing the same thing, cross, kind of stepping and crossing. So here, it's only 20 seconds. I want you to get your heart rate up, work hard. I'm so far away. Okay, keep your arms up at a 90 when you're doing that and really get your heart rate up. Now we're going to the side squat with a reverse lunge and a curl and press. So side squat, bring it down, curl, reverse lunge, and press it up. We're going to stay with one leg and we're going to switch. Curl and press. Side squat, I just did a lunge. Curl. Side squat, squat down, touch the floor, curl, and press it up with your reverse lunge. Rest. Not too much time. Back to your cardio. Here we go. Cross jacks. Cross, knee cross, jumping jack. That's way. Come on, get your heart rate up here. Let's go. To rest in the next one. Doing the strength exercise. Three, two, one. Take up your weights. Now we're going to squat to the other side. <laughs> I'm going to fix the cameras down a little bit. So squat down, curl, and press. Bring your knee up. Squat down, curl, lunge, and press. So make sure your feet are forward. Lunge. Your knee is over your ankle. Squat, get your butt down. I want to see your chest up the whole time. Don't hunch over. Okay. Back to your cross jacks. I'm gonna raise this up a little bit. Cardio, come on guys. Pick it up. That's the way. I want you breathing hard. Challenge yourself, but listen to your body. If you start getting lightheaded, just slow it down. Okay, curl and press for the squat and the lunge. Back to the other side. Squat, curl, and a press. Squat, curl, lunge, and press it up. Start it tight, stand up nice and tall, press it up. Drop your weights, curl, turn your palms out, and press. Nice.
Back to your cardio jacks. That's the way. If this is too difficult for you, then just do jumping jacks. Okay? Or high knees. But challenge yourself. Get that, that mind working with your coordination. It's good for you. Other side. Squat. Curl and a press. Straighten your foot out. Make sure your knee is in line with your toe. Big toe. Down. Lunge. And a press. Squat. Lunge. And a press. Nice job. Okay, so now we go on to the next one. Plank mule kicks and a goblet squat. So this one, you're either going to do your plank mule kicks jumping, plank position, you're either going to do a tap side to side, or you're going to jump up and kick your foot. I mean, sorry, kick your butt. Kick. Okay, that's high impact, low impact, tap it out, or jump side to side. Okay? Or really hold your stomach in and kick. 20 seconds, you can do it. Next one is a goblet squat. Pick up your heavier weight, wide stance, toes pointing out. Squat down. Bring your knees and your elbow to your knees. Squat. Squat down, stand up nice and tall, stomach tight. Squat. Squeeze your glutes on the way up. <clears throat> Raise up. Think about the muscles you're using. Squat and raise. Squeeze your glutes. Okay, back to your mule kicks. Three, two, one. Go. Get in position and get going. Come on. Or you can slow this down and do more of a handstand. So you're holding yourself up a little bit more. Three, two, one. I'm going to grab a heavier weight, a 10 pounder, or you could use a uh, kettlebell. Slide stance, squat, squeeze. This is where you're calming yourself down, getting your breath, but also working your muscles. Learn to have an active recovery. That's the way. Down and squeeze. Good. I think I want to go heavier still. Okay, back down to the floor. Get in the position. And go. A little hang time is good. I have a 12 pounder here. Holding it at the horns. Wide stance, straight pointing out. Squat. Squeeze your glutes on the way up. Deep squat. Squat down. The more you do this, the deeper you're going to get. Your hip flexors are going to start loosening up. That's the way. Your kicks get in position and go. If this is too much for you now, just hold the plank. Or tap it out. Come on, you can do it. Ooh. I'm sweating. You should be picking up your heart rate up. Sweating by now. And down. down. Squeeze. Work. Come on. Work hard. Pretend I'm right there next to you. Trying to get you going a little bit harder. A little bit faster. A little bit heavier. 
That's the way. One more time through. Oh, how is that it? I think it's done. Okay, so the next one is touchdowns and a weighted lateral lunge with a knee raise. So we need the weights. Touchdowns is your cardio. This is your low impact side and touching. But I want you to lean down, high impact. You're gonna tap out, squat down, touch down. Don't hunch over, try to keep your chest up. Leg goes out to the side. Good. Okay, so grab your weights. So this one is a lateral lunge, staying with one side. We'll go around to the right. Lateral lunge, bring it up, knee raise, and then opening, open up. Okay? Squat, bring the, lunge, the weights down. That's going to push you to sit back into that knee and open up. Press off and open up. Working the adductor on your, the straight leg. Back to your touchdowns. Three, two, one. Touchdown. All right, pick it up here. Come on. Lateral work. Always going forward and back. Changing your plane of motion. Working those adductors, hip flexors. That's the way. Pick up your weights. <clears throat> now we're going to the left side. So lateral lunge. Touch down. Wait. Press into that. Come up. Oops, there was an opening. Down and open it up. I want you to bring the knee up. Core tight. Balancing core work here. Press. Stand. Balance and open. Challenge yourself with the weights. Okay. Touchdowns. Breathe. Relax. And now go. 20 seconds hard. Work hard. Working off that Easter candy. Come on. Good job, guys. So watch your feet. If it's bothering your knees, you're stressing a little too much, so watch your form. Okay? Back to the right. Lunge down and bring it up. Lateral lunge. Step to the side. My left leg is staying steady. It's the one that's pressing off. And balancing me all the way to the buzzer and then finish it off. Nice job. That's your touchdowns or your touching. Okay. Maybe do four high impact and then go to your low impact. But pick up your pace and go back to your high impact until you can handle the 20 seconds all at one time. I want you to work the way you can by gradually increasing the, the intensity. Good job. Okay, pick up your weights. Last time. This one. And slide a lunge. Balance. Open up. Down. Open up. Stand up nice and tall. Look at yourself in the mirror. Want to see a nice tall posture. And strong arms. Pull them out. Get one more in, down, and up. Nice job. Okay, on to number four. This is the frog or burpee. So low impact, you're either gonna step it out or... It's about complete. Oh, no, it's not. So let's start over. So I have that wrong. Start okay, so 10, minutes, 10 seconds to prepare. So frog or burpee. So you're gonna jump down, jump your legs in a frogger position. Here, jump out, jump in, jump out. Do your push up. Jump in, jump up, low impact. Down, down, step, step. Do you push up on your knees if you need to? Step in, do you jump, okay? Jump, if you can't do either, you're down here and you're doing the prima donna push up. Okay, press up, one arm is pressing you up, the other arm, your hands are next to your chest, 
and you're pressing up. Okay, so stay down on the floor. This is a bird dog with a knee tuck. So you get to rest, so work hard on that one. Bird dog, knee tuck, extend, and switch. Stretch it out. Someone's pulling your hand and your foot. Stretch and pull. Square yourself up. Hips are under, are over your knees. Your shoulders are over your wrists. Okay, back to your frog or burpee. All right, I'm doing high impact this time. Come on, work with me. And go. Down, jump, down, push up. Jump in, jump up. Down, jump, down, push up. Oops. Okay, so stay down. Back to the bird dog. With the knee tuck. Here we go, square up. Reach out, tuck, and switch. Reach out, knee tuck, extend. Reach out, knee tuck, extend. So wait guys, you can do this. Feel the pull. One more. Rush. Nice. Okay, back to your frog or burpee. Three, two, one, go. If you want to do your push-up first, you can do that. Go down, come up, do your frogger. Gives you the motion of the uh, jumping down. Back to the bird dog. Knee tuck. Reach and extend. Reach and extend. Get your breathing here. Into your nose, out from your mouth. Calm yourself. And back to our frog or burpee for the last time. Here we go. Watch your back. Squat down, squat, legs back, jump in, jump out, push up. To go onto your knees here. Definitely go on your knees. Get one more in. All right, back to bird dog. Last one. We'll move on to number five. And we're done. Holding position. Extend. I didn't put any plank work in today. It's the only thing about this one. I feel like I'm not getting as many exercises in as I like to. Maybe I'll throw in some abs and a plank at the end. Okay, so now we move on to the last one. This is a single leg reverse pulsing kick. So that's our cardio. And then we go to a single leg around the world arm. So you need your weights for that one, but lighter weights. You're gonna be balancing. Okay, so this one, you're gonna be in lunge position. Your knee is over your ankle. Pulse, 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 kick. Go back down. One, two, three. Stomach tight, kick it out. One, two, three. Kick it out. Extend that leg, balance. Kick it out. Remember which leg you're working. Okay, now grab your weights. I'm gonna go with the six pounders. Balance, one leg. Stand up nice and tall, balance on one leg, up, down, and reverse, and round. Nice straight arms, if they're too heavy, you're going to be hurting yourself. So think about your form, you don't want to have to jerk your whole body or raise it up, and you want to have a slight bend in your elbows, but not a big bend. Okay, so now we're on the other leg, so here we go, this is your lunge position. Knee is over your ankle. One, two, three. Foot is forward. Kick it out. One, two, three. One, two, 
pulse it down. One more time. Finish it off. Good. Okay, grab your weights. Balancing on your other leg. Stand up nice and tall. Push it back. Nice. Up and around. Now if you can't do this balanced on one leg, then put both feet down. But challenge yourself. Finish it off. Up and around. Nice. Okay. So now we're going to the other leg. Start. Starting leg. One. I'm going to add a hop. Two. Three. Kick it out. One. Two. Three. Kick it out. I want you to feel this in your quads. Make sure you're low enough. 20 seconds is just when you're starting to feel it, so I want you to work. Okay, last time doing around the world. Balance. Actually, that means we have one more time doing this. I think I started with my left leg. Stand up nice and tall, come on. If this is getting too heavy now, it's time to have lighter weights handy for the next time. Okay, you have one more time through. Other leg on your lunge. One, two, three, kick it out. One, two, three, kick it out. You don't have to add the hop, but challenge it. Dip it down, put all the weight in that lunge. Press off. The front leg is doing the work and raising you up. Okay, last time doing around the world. And we're done. Okay, now we're going to do some abs. That's the way. Good job, guys. Nice workout. So, five minutes of rowing beforehand, five minutes afterwards. That's not going to say Tabata complete because I stopped it. Okay, so now we're going to do abs. So, let's go down to the floor. Straighten it out in your back. Lay down. Deep breath in. Exhale. Bring your knee across. If your heart rate is up too high right now, walk around. Wait until your, your um, blood pressure, everything calms down. Your heart rate comes, comes down enough that you can come down. Because laying down, it's harder on your heart. And it might be making you lightheaded. So when it's when you're ready for this, then go down to the floor. You do your cool down stretch. Okay. So let's start with let's start with the plank. Side plank. Okay, we're up, we're raised, we're stacked, or one leg is in front, and we're going to raise up. Arm up. Challenging here. Lift or Go even higher, balance, and then lift. Okay, I'm gonna do mm, two, maybe 15, three, four, balance, five, six. I'm not racing through this, control, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, come on, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, and I'm sorry, I didn't tell you, you could also do it this way. Okay, so you can bend that inside leg and lift. So you're still working your obliques. Switch sides. Again, start on your elbow. Stack your feet, one in front of the other. Bend the bottom leg up high or even higher here, or stack up, up high, okay? Make sure your shoulder is over your wrist. You don't want any extra strain on your shoulder. One, whoo, balance. Two, three, here I go. Four, five, that's the way. Six, you don't have to put your arm up. Seven, 
eight, or have it here, but don't lean over too much. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, you got it, 15, good job. Turn over, high plank position. Um, let's do reptile. So high plank position, you're gonna bring your knee up and blow air on top of your kneecap. Okay, that's gonna force you to rotate over, working your inner obliques, and it's gonna force you to breathe as well. Okay, that shows me that you're actually twisting your body. Blow on that kneecap. Two, three, do the best you can. Four, five, if you need to rest or go to your knees, you can do the same thing on your knees. Six, seven, eight, nine, you got it. 10, five, four, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Nice job. Okay, now we're going to go down for abs. Not that we weren't working our abs here. Working our core. Okay, knees up. Elbows back, my favorite. Legs at a 90. I want you to keep your, don't have your feet up too high. But if you do have a bad back, keep your feet down. The lower the better. Or actually higher if it's up like this. So either down on the ground or up because here you're challenging your lower back more. Okay, here we go. Three, four, lift up, chin to the ceiling, elbows back. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Arms to the side, rotate side to side. One, two, three, Stomach tight, control. Four, add some weight here if you want to. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Legs back up, elbows back, and alternate. Keeping the legs elevated. Two, three, four, bicycle. Five, six, do it up higher if it bothers your back. Eight, nine, ten. Now doubles. One, double, double, two, crunch, crunch, pulse, pulse. Three, four, five, elbows back, cross it over. Six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Feet down, knees together, stomach tight, elbow, ankle touches. One, two, three, reach. Four, if your ankles are really close, reach past your ankles. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. Okay, we're gonna do one challenging one. We're gonna be laying flat. We're gonna come up and keep your legs straight. Breathe and relax. And then we're gonna come back up. Legs straight. One, two, three, and bring it down and relax. Up again. One, two, three, and relax. One, two, three. That's four, one, two, three, that's five. Try to straighten your legs out. Good. Try to come up. One, two, three, that's six. One, two, three, that's seven. One, two, three, that's eight. One, two, three, that's nine. Last one, you can do it. One, two, three, and that's 10. Hug your knees into your chest.
chest. Deep breath in. Exhale. Drop your leg. Right leg up, point and flex. Pull back on your calf. Feel it in your hamstrings. Point and flex. Work your ankles. All that balancing. Roll around a circle. And the other direction. Cross it over your left leg. Straighten up and press back on that right knee. Opening up your hip flexor. Press. Your muscles are nice and warm now. This is the time to stretch them. Switch legs, left leg up, point and flex. Roll around a circle. And the other direction. This is a good sweaty workout. Just enough. Cross it over, press back. That's right, guys. Keep breathing. Deep breath in. Exhale, roll up. I'm going to do a quad set. So I want you to bend one leg, straighten the other, flex. Keep that leg tight, 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 muscles tight the whole time. Lift. That's right. Lift one more time, cross over, opposite arm to knee, and look behind you. Deep breath in. Exhale, twist. Posture, come on. Just because you're tired doesn't mean you should be slouching. Good job. Cross over, elbow to knee, look behind you, deep breath in, and twist. So I got a new board. Isn't that handy? I'm going to transfer that to my notebook. Okay, come to center. Let's stay <coughs> seated and do our shoulder rolls. And forward, big circles. Work your muscles today. Okay, right arm across. Now for your wrist. Roll it around in a circle. Big circles and the other direction. Now take that arm down between your shoulder blades, press. Breathe, release, and switch arms. Pulling on the arm, you want to release the shoulder and you're gonna ro rotate your wrist around. And the other direction. That's all right, guys. Press down between your shoulder blades. Okay, finish off with more stretching for your legs. Back. Hydrate, refuel, have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.